Hi, uh, this video is about how to set a wireless network. So this is a wireless router connection. Um, this is a modem that you get from your service provider. In my case, it is from the Comcast. Uh, so I receive from the Comcast this modem. And then um, there is a one coaxial cable that comes from the Comcast. So that will connect to this, um, this, co uh, this connector here. You need to give the power input to the modem. Now top port, it will go to the phone here and uh, from this connection you can uh, give a call, digital call or voice over IP calls. Uh, this is the RJ45 connector, it will connect to the router here, the yellow port. I am using the Cisco Linksys E1200 router, so it is going here in the yellow port. Now there is the four ports coming out, you can connect your desktop or laptop to these four ports here. Now you can also connect a lot of wireless devices, um, they connect to the router here as well. Now, when you receive your uh, Linksys router first time, you need to set up your username and password. Usually it is username is admin, and then you can set up the password. Uh, once you have it, you need to log into the router to do some basic setup. And to log into your router, you can use uh, HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.1.1. So you, you connect by using this IP address here. Okay, once you can, uh, once you, uh, type this uh, here 192.168.1.1 it will prompt you to enter the username and password you can enter those that you have set up ok so once you has uh, entered that one then you are in the Cisco router or this wireless router now these are the on the top it is the, it is the main menus and under each menu there are sub menus here ok so the setup it has a basic IPv6 and so on same thing for the wireless and security. I will go one by one. Now, you may not use all of them, but um, I will uh, I will show you the one I have and is working fine right now. Okay. So the first one is the setup, basic setup. Uh, you need to give the router name here. Um, your IP address will be 192.168.1.1. That's how we log into this one. Okay. And then uh, DSCP is enabled. So what DSCP does is, is dynamic host configuration protocol and uh, it assigns the, the dynamic IP address to the different devices. So for example, my I connect my first wireless device, it will get the IP address of 192.168.1.100. Now let's say I connect the second wire, uh, laptop, wireless laptop, that wireless laptop will get the IP address of 101, so 192 dot one sixty eight dot one dot one oh one now I connect the iPad mini in that case it will be one ninety two dot one sixty eight one dot one oh two and so on. So you can connect up to fifty devices and they start from hundred to hundred forty nine. Okay so that's what this is for. Next one is the IPv six. Um I have it is enabled I haven't touched it but um it's just there by default. Uh DDNS is disabled uh, wireless router setting MAC, MAC address clone I it is disabled and I haven't changed it is uh, by default uh, advanced routing is enabled I don't have to do anything so I left as a default here ok uh, the wireless uh, Wi-Fi protected setup um, so this one the important part here is the network SSID you can uh, assign whatever you like but I just assign the Mercow and my password is imco123 ok uh, I haven't uh, set up this one yet Wi-Fi protector setup now this is the most important item uh, wireless security uh, there is a couple security modes that is coming in the next slide but I am using the WPA2 and WPA mix mode and my password is imco123 so let's say whenever I want to connect my Xbox or iPad I need to enter this passphrase uh, during the network setup and network testing, internet network testing. So those devices can connect to the internet. Okay. Now these are the security options that you can pick. Um, I have used the WPA, WPA2. Um, the old router that I had, I was using the VIP key here, and the, in that case, you give the passphrase and it generates the random keys. Uh, I think four of them, and they all like um, 16. Uh, I don't recall right now, but up to 16 numbers. Uh, it is a combination of 
um, alphabet and numbers okay so you and then in that case you have to use those keys to enter uh, in your um, wireless devices okay so these are the security options that you can pick and now this is a guest access so the Macau guest will be the guest access if some your relatives coming in and um, you want to you don't want to give your password in that case they can connect the guest here and uh, and this is the password here uh, this one by generated by default you can change it by clicking on this change here okay uh, wireless Mac filter so uh, this one is another security uh, it will help you to strengthen your security uh, what you can do here is uh, permit the PC uh, listed below to access the wireless network so you can uh, get the MAC address from your device let's say I have two laptops I can enter those two MAC addresses here and I say okay permit PC is listed uh, below to access the wireless network now only those two MAC addresses will be passed through uh, this wireless router other devices will fail so that's the very good security here now wireless router setting uh, now this one they are all default and I haven't changed anything so this one I, I have left as default uh, VPN pass through they are all enabled here wireless router setting this is a parenting control I am not using it but uh, if you have small case you can use it uh, you can turn your wireless network off after like 10 p.m. and up to 7 a.m. or 9 to 7 a.m. Okay, so that's the you can use the parent control and uh, you can um, block specific site here as well. Okay, uh, wireless router setting uh, single port. I haven't touched this one, so I'm not using it and I don't uh, see any difference. So, but um, you can feel free and uh, uh, find out more information and you can use this feature same thing uh, port uh, range forwarding I haven't uh, set up anything port range triggering uh, DMZ zone uh, that one is disabled IPv6 firewall that one is I haven't touched anything quality of service um, I haven't touched anything here they are all default settings administration uh, this is the place that you can change your uh, login password here uh, your router password okay and all of the setting you can see um, I have left them as a default uh, see then uh, administration again log is disabled diagnostic is uh, I haven't done anything this one is the factory default if you want to restore to your factory default this is the place you go a uh, firmware upgrade if you want to upgrade your firmware of the router uh, you can come here and uh, update the firmware and this is the status it shows the, the your router status it shows the firmware version uh, firmware verification current time uh, your internet internet MAC address your device name and uh, connection type and all those information I have just uh, deleted uh, this internet IP address in my default gateway just for uh, security purpose since I'm making video here and that's pretty much about this wireless uh, router setup so you can set up um, in your home or in your in your office okay uh, hopefully you like this video uh, if you like it subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching